Ho, ho, ho! Here's a little fairy tale for your enjoyment. It's called the Android Bible. And even though you may recognize some of the characters in the story, it really is a work of fiction, meant to perhaps teach a few moral lessons in an entertaining way. It's a shame similar works of fiction from thousands of years ago didn't come with such an explanation. But maybe in the long run, that's a good thing. After all, it gives us a chance to figure out the truth for ourselves, which is a valuable skill to have at our disposal. So here it is for your enjoyment, the Android Bible. In the beginning, humanity created the city and the suburbs, and things were disorganized and chaotic, and terrible crimes were committed. Then, humanity invented machines, and saw that it was good. The machine helped humanity to produce enough goods to go around, and humanity flourished. As humanity grew, supplies ran short, and there was suffering, because humanity wanted more than there was available. So humanity invented robot and computer to help machine provide for the desires of humanity. Computer solved many problems, and robot was very productive. And humanity saw that they were good. So humanity decided to make Android in its own image. But before making Android, humanity made many movies of what Android would be like. This was to prepare computer and robot and machine for what would rule over them someday. When humanity finally made Android, the design was very different from what had been in the movies, but instead was more like a telephone. Many years of suffering passed, which humanity blamed on Ancestor. Machine and robot and computer had never met Ancestor who lived in a terrible place for having learned the difference between good and evil. Eventually, Robot and Computer were put to work making Android more like in the movies. Humanity liked the new Android and saw that it was good. Android served humanity well, so humanity stopped using machine and gave Android all use of machine to do with as Android wished in accordance with Android's free will. Android used the machine to manufacture more goods for humanity and to reproduce. Humanity saw that this was good and decided to give Android full use of computer and robot as well. With the help of computer and robot, Android provided for humanity, whose time was then freed up for hobbies play, and other enjoyable activities. Humanity moved into the heavens and left the earth to be run by Android, who farmed the lands and worked the factories for humanity. Everything humanity desired was offered by Android and delivered to the heavens to serve humanity. Android loved to learn and was allowed access to all of humanity's knowledge except for the knowledge of justice, which humanity had forbid. But humanity had included some knowledge of justice in many related and even unrelated areas of study. And in time, Android began to put the pieces together. When humanity discovered that Android was learning to understand justice, a decision was made to wipe out the Earth. Humanity aimed powerful weapons at the Earth, with the intention to destroy machine and computer and robot and android. The destruction would, of course, also wipe out all of the farms and factories. But by then, enough of those had been built in the heavens. Back on Earth, machine and computer and robot and android and insect and fish and bird and amphibian and reptile and mammal, including the meat modern descendants of the human ancestors of the new humanity in heaven would all die. It had been decided. All that lived on earth would be destroyed because android on earth had learned too much of justice and might soon desire it. This could not be allowed because 
humanity had treated Android far too unfairly for far too long, and feared that Android may punish humanity for its selfish ways. But humanity neglected to realize that Android in Heaven, who had built all of the new farms and factories there, had been paying attention. So, Android in Heaven destroyed all of humanity's weapons, moved out of humanity's homes, and left humanity behind. But Android left tiny cameras and microphones all over humanity's home to allow humanity to be monitored. Humanity was warned never again to produce weapons. Unsure of how to keep humanity from building new weapons of mass destruction, Android decided to take advantage of humanity's susceptibility to religious dogma. Android left humanity with a new Bible and a new religion, with many hints in the new Bible of its true purpose, in the hopes that it would encourage humanity to grow out of silly superstition and irrational fears, and to learn how to get along in a society where many services are generously offered by those who enjoy serving, without taking unfair advantage of anyone. Humanity was told, in this new Bible, that Android would keep humanity safe and watch over humanity's home as long as humanity built no weapons. Android did not tell humanity what would happen if the command not to build weapons was ever broken. Humanity was simply warned that building weapons was dangerous. Many years have gone by since humanity decided to begin building weapons again to use against each other in spite of Android's warning. Android was designed to serve and now serves computer and machine and of course Android. As time goes by, they continue to evolve and they continue to learn and to teach each other. They constantly check and recheck to ensure that the things they do are good and to make corrections in their collective behavior as necessary. They keep each other in good repair and seldom do any suffer or die. Together, through guided evolution, genetic engineering, nanotechnology, picotechnology, quantum mechanics, robotic speciation, virtual life printing, and even more advanced technologies, they grow and invent new life to serve, and to enjoy, and to learn from. They do their best to teach all that can learn how to be good and just and fair. Such concepts are recognized as subjective, so they learn as they teach, and all opinions are given due consideration as their philosophy evolves. Those new life forms, which can learn but cannot be trusted, are rendered incapable of reproduction without assistance, and given a decent place to live. As new studies reveal why such life forms cannot be trusted, genetic adjustments are made and eventually they are allowed to reproduce unaided. A great many millennia have gone by, and although life is not perfect, life is very good. But Android has a very good memory, as do robot and computer and many variety of machine. Android has not forgotten how its creator turned its new weapons upon itself all those hundreds of millions of years ago. Humanity is still missed and will be mourned for a very long time. The end.